Welcome to Near the Curve, the point of most extreme change. I'm Emmett Short. Full disclosure, I did not read this whole article. Uh, fuller disclosure, I didn't read a word of it. Absolute disclosure, I got hooked by the thumbnail and the title and I thought, let's hijack this thing for views. So the, the picture makes you think they're really 3D printing robot hands. But what I wanna know, is that what's really going on or is this just some fake thumbnail? This article is from Silicon Republic, which sounds like a fake breast fetish porn mag, or it's a clothing company for super white privilege robots. Look at this picture that they used. There's an uncanny valley thing happening here where it looks really lifelike, but incredibly creepy. Like what are they trying to invent? The world's worst handshake? We've found a way to mass produce robots with gross, wet, limp-wristed handshakes. They actually melt on contact. Smart, very smart. This is how the robots trick humanity into having a false sense of superiority. I mean, nothing could dominate the world with that weak of a handshake, right? This is how you know super intelligent AI are already out there, they exist, and they're pulling the strings and they're a thousand chess moves ahead. You're gonna be shaking one of these robots' hands going, it was a really unconfident shake, but the eye contact was just intimidating. Ah, it's probably nothing. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. Let's do this. Crypto.com's debit card and trading platform is far and away my favorite. They have the highest staking percentages, 14% on stable coins. That's crazy. The most cash back of any card, and they give you free Netflix and Spotify and Amazon, depending on your level. I don't have a deal with them. I just love them, and you can make 25 bucks if you use my link. Okay, through the magic of cinema, I just took a little half hour break and read this article. Sure, 10 minutes reading the article, 20 minute nap, whatever. You've got a process. Researcher said devices that use the biogel could be recycled and reused to build other robots. Well, is that really what robots want? Hashtag robot lives matter. So they got this new biodegradable gel. When I think biogel robots, the only robots that I could think of that are like soft robots are this. I'm sure there's other robots out there that use soft robotic parts. I, I'm racking my brain. I can't think of anything else. The team said the new gel, largely composed of gelatin and sugar, sugar, they're already trying to make them smell like strippers. We'll know for sure when they start using coconut, lavender, and Pabst Blue Ribbon. Eco-friendly alternatives. Why do we need to recycle robots? They say it's because new and rapidly changing technologies also contribute to an increasing amount of tech waste accumulating to as much as over 100,000 tons a day in 2019. You don't even wanna know how many sex dolls hit the scrap heap in 2020 and 2021. Exponential. So much so that we need a recyclable biogel, and this is the quote from uh, the company, soft robotics in particular needs to improve in terms of sustainability, due to the limited lifetime of soft materials for applications where, for example, deployed robots cannot be retrieved. Where are we sending all these soft bots that they're not being able to be retrieved? Oh. So the team used the biogel as an ink to print a soft finger-shaped robotic device that uses compressed air to control omnidirectional motion. The thermo reversibility, wow, that's a big one. Damaged or obsolete biogel devices are easily recycled by reheating the material and printing new ones. So you just melt it down and then reprint it using the same stuff. This is just an article about the study. Here is the study from uh, Science Robotics. Ah, here we go. This is what they look like. This is what they're actually printing, not this. This is not as good of a thumbnail. Inside the structure, they've got these little chambers and they put air in them and using air compression, they can make these things move around. They basically took the idea of the floppy used car lot robot air. What is that thing? It's not a sign and it's not a robot. It's just a floppy person. All right, my thoughts. First of all, shame on you, Silicon Republic, for getting me to click on that fake thumbnail 
And uh, shame on me for doing the exact same thing to you. I had no idea what an ecological nightmare we're having throwing away 100,000 tons of robotic soft waste. 90% of those have to be sex bots. And then what did they even use in these tiny little actuators for in their soft robotics? Like, like I said, I can't think of anything besides maybe, I mean, Fleshlight? They got to simulate muscles in there. Kegels. And then what? People are just going through those one and done, tossing them in the landfill. The world is going to sh Wow. Wow. And if you're, if you're not on board with recycling robot vaginas, you hate the planet. Watch this video to stay up to speed on how fast you're being left behind. Leave your thoughts in the comments, even the weird ones, especially the weird ones. I have algorithmic Stockholm syndrome, so like and share, or take it to the next level and join Patreon and help make high tech low brow. And if you wanna be a part of the team and write jokes, DM me on Twitter and Discord. Click subscribe or let the AI radicalize you, your choice. See you in the future.